So we have these rules or principles that guide interpersonal communication. So all interpersonal communication interactions can fall back into these four principles in one way, one way or another. So interpersonal communication conveys both content and relationship information. So content relates to the words spoken. So depending on how close you are to someone, you might have to use clearer direct communication, right? If I'm talking to you guys, I don't know you that well. So I'm gonna use very clear direct communication because I don't have inside jokes with you. I don't have like this relationship information that you would get by being closer to someone on that scale of intimacy. So I've got an example here, right? If you're really close friends with someone and you know someone's lying, you know, you might give them a look and that would be the relationship information that's being communicated there. So it's not just the content, the word spoken, it's also that unspoken relationship information. So it's really the more closer people are on the I, you, I, thou end of the spectrum, you probably have more relationship information and ways to communicate with them. Another principle of interpersonal communication is it can be intentional or unintentional. Most of what you say or do in encounter will be seen as intentional, whether you mean to say it or not. That's why in the intro video, I encourage you guys, think before you speak, especially where in this, at least in our classroom, you have the opportunity to like think before you hit send or before you post something. But even in your lives with your family or your friends or your partners, whoever you interact with most, think about what you really want to say before you say it. Because whether you meant to say it or not, or whether it came out correctly or not, like you have the power to slow it down and to think before you speak. Or there's that too, right? Thinking about inter um, nonverbal communication. I am one of those people that if I'm not smiling, I look angry. I just can't help it. I was born that way. So I have to be a bit more aware of how I'm communicating nonverbally. Otherwise, people think I'm grumpy. I'm not grumpy. I'm happy. I am having a good time. So interpersonal communication is dynamic. No interactions ever the same. Even if you have, like, say you work in customer service and you interact with a hundred different customers, not every single one of those interactions is going to go the same. I know it's has to be kind of quick, kind of snappy, get people out the door and get on to the next person. But in general, communication is very dynamic and it changes a lot. And it changes between people. It changes, uh, like, verbal language is evolving over time. There's lots of different ways that communication is dynamic, and we'll keep bringing this up throughout the semester. And then finally, ir interpersonal communication is irreversible. Once it leaves your mouth, you can't take it back. Just another reason to think before you speak, right? I love this little meme. I think that the first time I saw it, I'm like, oh my gosh, that's the whole reason is like why interpersonal communication is irreversible. You can't unhear that main thing that someone said to you, even if they didn't mean it, right? Even if it was unintentional, you can't unhear it. And it's not, the relationship doesn't go back to the same, the person might not go back to the same after hearing that thing that they cannot unhear. Ooh, let's get closer to that. A lot of references here. So, that's just some food for thought here in our first week of class to get you thinking about, well, okay, now I have a better idea of why Germana would force me to take this class. So have a good week and let me know if you have any questions. Thanks.